Hello, hello, you're watching Scissorboy.com. We are outside Charles Worthington, of course, in the heart of London. I'm going to be talking to Carolyn Newman. Now, she is Director of Colour here at Charles Worthington, and she's going to take us through the most important part of colouring hair, the consultation. Check this out. <laughs> Scissorboy.com. You're here yet again, and so am I. My name's Andriana, and this is Carolyn Newman. Hello, Adriana. It's great to have you with us. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Uh, now, just in case you don't know, uh, Carolyn Newman is the colour director for Charles Worthington, has been in this country as a leader in the uh, hairdressing profession for many, many years. 30 years, is that right? <laughs> That's right. So you know your stuff, my dear. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> oh, of course you do. Now, um, we're going to be going through colour, aren't we, today? Yeah. So, Carolyn, tell, tell me what we're going to do and, and uh, what obviously our lovely model is here for today. Well, what I wanted to demonstrate was something a little bit different than yeah. showing, I mean, obviously I do techniques and things, but one of the things that is, I think, is my speciality mm -hmm. is consultation. Right. Um, because I think if you get the consultation right, and you communicate well to your client. Once you've done your colour and your technique, your client skips out the door looking and feeling fabulous. Awesome. So I would be asking Grace, you know, what has she done in the past to her hair? What does she like? What does she dislike? And, and where is she? Where is she now? Right. Um, okay. So Grace, what have you done in the past for your hair? Um, well, I had bright copper hair. It was previously blonde and dyed it bright copper. Yeah. And then I wanted to go for like the dip dyed look, you know, the sort of Alexa Chung. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, um, yeah, of course. Where it was so red, obviously it's still quite hard to get out. Do you feel more comfortable looking like this now with more so a more softer result? Yeah, a bit more natural. Yeah, but yeah. this is still not quite natural enough? Is what I call colour personality. Mm -hmm. um, especially with hair colour, I think you need to make sure the colour is suiting your personality, your lifestyle. It also has a lot to do with the upkeep and maintenance. So how do you find that out? And I have a little card that I give my clients. Right. Um, and I have six personalities. So we have our strong, dramatic woman, if you think of you know, Paris Hilton, Lady Gaga, mm -hmm. um, even someone like Victoria Beckham, because mm. she always goes out with her heels. Yeah, always immaculate, yeah. yeah. And when she dresses down, she still does it as a yeah, statement. She does, yeah. um, so again, there are daring divas. Right, oh, daring divas. <laughs> we yeah. then have our trendsetter, and these, these are the clients that would say to you, I like to change my hair, I like to follow fashion. Yeah. Um, again, someone like Kate Moss is a trendsetter. Even though she doesn't change her hair all the time, she changes her clothes and yeah. her, her look. They're the great client because they'll want something different every time they come in and see you. That's me! Very <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so much someone who looks good without makeup. They look brilliant in jeans and a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. They like to have a bit of colour, but it's a much more softer yeah. um, approach. Someone like Gwyneth Paltrow, Cameron Diaz, they look great with their long hair, the suits, you know, not too much colour. And they are the person that have a very clear look, but it might not suit them. Right. Um, and they might be wearing the same eyeshadow they wore in the 80s. Yeah, oh, cool. yes. <laughs> The same hair colour. away from that, yeah. yeah. People who don't know anything about fashion, anything about makeup and hair, trying to explain that to them is very, very hard for them to understand. Mm. And obviously, what I'm looking for, client looked at this and said, no, that's not me then I would show them other mood boards just to ascertain. Yeah. Um, but I really do think this is more mm. race. Mm -hmm. Step three is actually, um, I think, one of the key important ones because it's all about the diagnosis. Right. Um, and when we train as hairdressers, we learn a lot about what's going to suit the skin tone of the client and what is going to be the right haircut or hairstyle for face mm -hmm. shape. And colour can make an impact on face shape as See, well. I find that fascinating because when you first mentioned that, I, was, I, I didn't even think of that. Because what colour can do is if you um, want to bring out something, you can actually shadow around the face. It's more that colour, what you do around the face, yeah. that can actually work like that. What I'm looking for is what makes a client look healthy. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, clients go, well, what are we looking for? Healthy, bringing out the eyes, mm. the wrong colour, 
and sometimes someone can make them look more shadows yeah. under the eyes. Make them look sick. Yeah, and yeah. pale. Mm. But with Grace, we can see under here, this isn't bringing out her best features. Mm. It's not as flattering. Mm. Where if I go to our medium warm shades, it actually does Definitely bring does. out and actually she looks all in one. Mm. That's what you want. Mm. You want it to all blend. So that's our third step. So we've understand the hair history. Mm -hmm. um, we've understood um, what personality she is. We now know what colour suit her. Mm. And then what we need to look at is what I call colour placement. Colour can really bring out and make what I think great haircuts, truly fabulous mm -hmm. hair. Mm -hmm. So we always look at the focal point of the haircut. Colour choice, but that's like the summary. Yeah. Um, so I would say to Grace, Right, so we've ascertained your hair's feeling a little bit warm at the moment and you'd like it to be a bit more lighter for mm -hmm. summer. So that we really bring out the length and really bring out the fringe in her hair. Mm -hmm. And the colours I'm going to use are more golden blondes yeah, as yeah. well. Lovely. So is that the whole consultation? That's all the, the steps? That's the whole steps. That's amazing.